Hey, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Investigation, Cold Case Edition. Yes, girl, I had to go back and open up an old cold case, baby, an uh, old unsolved mystery, okay? And I had the, the first file that was on my desk that I was more than happy to open up is the file of Aaliyah, okay? You guys, if you don't know who Aaliyah is, it's shame on you. It's a shame. But everybody should know who Aaliyah is. Okay, this is Aaliyah Dana Halton. At the time of a plane crash that she was in where her life was fatally taken away from us. And on August the 25th, 2001, she was 22 years old. Now, if Aaliyah was still with us today, she would have celebrated a birthday on January the 16th. And she would have been 44 years old. Now, she was born January 16, 1979. She is a Capricorn. At the time of her passing, she was worth $8 million. This seemed like that's the, that's the number that they like to give, you know, the black artists in Hollywood. It's like $8 million, girl. You made it. $8 million. It's like that's how much they get Kiki Palmer. It's like that's how much, you know, girl, but Beyonce is on a whole new level, Okay. But back to uh, Aaliyah, girl. My bad, Aaliyah. I didn't mean to bring Beyonce up in your reading, girl. Okay, that was rude of me. Okay, let's stop. So, let's get back. So, we got, again, she was in a plane crash, okay, that took her, that took her life. And, and we're going to have to open that up. We're going to have to open up that file because um, I'm not quite sure that it was an accident. Now, it could have been, girl, if it was, the cars would tell us, girl, it was just an accident, girl, move on with my life, and I'd be more than happy to do so. But, girl, lately with what happened with Takeoff, what's been happening um, with Gangsta Boo, what's been happening with all these, so like Twitch, okay, with all the cases that I've been working on, i come to recognize that Hollywood plays some sneaky games, allegedly, girl, allegedly. So, I just want to open up a cold case, girl, and just see, you know, what can I discover, okay? Because if it all match up to what we already know, then we should be good, okay? Everything should be good. I close the case back up, girl, and put it back in the filing cabinet, okay? But if not, maybe we're going we're gonna to continue to flip the cards till we get the truth, okay? So, now did y'all know that when she was born, okay, she was born uh, January 16th, they said soon after that she was soon after she was able to talk i guess her family her, her parents immediately put her into voice lessons you know got her to singing girl is it one of these type of families that you know trying to make it out the hood through their kids or is it one of those type of family that come from a musical background and they just want to go ahead and you know kind of make sure that she have the best because they know that she had a beautiful voice or, or what girl I just want to know because that when I read that, I, that was a little suspicious to me. It's like, as soon as she can talk, that's the first thing y'all did was put her into voice lessons and classes and singing lessons. It's like it was too much. But I guess it all paid off because by the age of 12, she was signed to Jive Records, okay? She was already signed, ready to go. And we already know by the age of 15, she came out with the song, Age Ain't Nothing But A Number. And we know who was rocking with her at that time. And she was on the 15. So, and another little known fact that you guys probably know, I didn't know. Okay, so I didn't know who, back in the day, girl, when we had artists, we just loved their music. We didn't really know too much about their personal life other than what they put into a magazine. And we would take the picture and hang it up on our wall, girl. And that's all they would give us. We didn't have the internet. So, we only had the information they gave us. So, we never, and if they did tell us about her manager, girl, we didn't care, girl. Because, kind of find out, it was Barry Hankerson, who was her uncle, who also happened to be the former ex-husband of Gladys Knight. Okay? I did not know that. So, that's a little known fact right there for you if you didn't know it. But we're going to put some cards on Miss Aaliyah. We're going to open this case back up and just see what we see, girl. If it's just the same typical story, then we'll go ahead and close it back up and we'll, we'll move on. But we need some closure. Okay? If you're anything like me, because I love me some Aaliyah. Okay? Aaliyah, okay, 
because really, you know, I don't know if Leah would bite my style if I were biting the Leah style, girl. I don't know. I was confused. We was in our relationship was intertwined. Okay, it was very much entangled. Okay, I don't know if Leah was wearing her hair like me or was I wearing my hair like a Leah. Okay, so let's move on. So let's pull some cards. Divine angels, if you will, please. Okay. We have an angel here that I love and I'm sh and I'm sure all the viewers love her as well. Okay. I'm sure this girl loves her too. So we want to know what happened to Aaliyah on August the 25th during that plane crash. What do we need to know? Okay. Do we need to open this case up or do we need just to go and mind our business? We just need to know. So if you can give us the best cards from this deck to describe what happened on August the 25th, 2001 that we need to know about Aaliyah and this plane crash. Okay. Let's get into it. my arm yeah that little shuffle hurt girl so Leah so girl the first card that came out here is the monster within there was some type of internal struggle or personal challenge and wanting to improve okay with the 25 okay 25 we got somebody playing an instrument playing music girl and we got wolves around her and she looked drained and she looked tired do she not? Or is that just me, girl? Okay, she got some highlights in her hair, girl. Right here, she got the little hot blonde highlights with the dark. You know, her hair was always dark and black. But I guess around this that time, girl, she was tired. Um, she had the highlights in her hair, I guess. I guess remember she was um, recording the, um, um, like, what's the name of that song? Stroke Your Boat, Ride Your Boat, girl. You know, it's a beautiful video. I love that video. And that's what she was recording. So it's like, I see somebody playing music. But then I got these wolves here. We have, um, and she dressed beautiful, honey. But there's some type of internal struggles. Now it's like, who had the, who, who is the monster within? It's the monster within her camp. It's the monster within her. It's the monster within this freaking wolf. That's um, right here. But there's definitely some type of personal challenges here that was going on maybe in her personal life. Okay, could that be her uncle? Why he wasn't on the why he wasn't on the plane? Because he's the manager. I thought the manager goes everywhere. It says wanting to improve though. It's like somebody wanting to improve. I don't know if she wanted to improve and wanted to up her game. That's probably why they went on location versus just being on the movie set. But it was beautiful. But uh, let me move on. It says reasons. Listen to advice. Think clearly. Intellect. So it seems like somebody probably wasn't thinking clearly. And it wasn't listening to the advice. Wasn't listening to sound advice. But then what's suspicious to me about this card is that how this person is holding this skeleton by the neck. And covering up the mouth. That the mouth is covered up here. And we have a skull, like covering up, silencing someone. Okay, making someone quiet. Okay, keeping someone quiet, not speaking on the situation. But I'm very concerned that she's sitting here holding skeletons. It's like, baby, that's not a bowl of cereal, baby. That's not um like that's not your purse, your handbag, baby. That's a skeleton. Why are you holding it like it's normal? Okay. But it says reasoning. Somebody had a reasoning and they was not listening to advice. Somebody wasn't thinking clearly. Maybe Aaliyah was not thinking clearly. Okay. And it says something about intellect. Okay. Either the intellect was not there. Okay. Because it's not looking like. Or somebody was knowledgeable about something. Okay. Next we said, oh, that death will come. Someone is knowledgeable about death will come. Oh, these cards are so cute. Okay, so somebody is holding, okay, now, you see this cute little doll, she's holding a vase with, it looked like blood cells, um, it could possibly be um, something about the bloodstream, but it's a broken vase, 
So I don't know if somebody was giving medication. Somebody was somebody knew that death would come. Somebody was very knowledgeable about it. Okay. Now if you're knowledgeable about it, did you plan it? Okay. Because eight people were you know, lost their lives on that plane. And now I don't know if it was eight people addition addition to Leah, which made it nine, or was it eight altogether, including Aaliyah. But somebody was very knowledgeable about it. And it says mortal, finite, and fragile. Okay, so it's giving me that they knew that somebody was fragile. Okay, they knew that somebody was either unaware. Okay, it's giving me that somebody had something in their bloodstream. Okay, because this is it's giving me bloodstream, blood platelets. Um, and a monster within, uh, like a monster within her camp. Okay, had reason, had knowledge to know that death will come. Okay, and that's enough for me to say I'm opening up this case because you had knowledge, you was not thinking with intellect. Okay, and you still allowed this to happen to her. And it said a monster within, which means you started off the reading, you know, you a monster. Now, whether everybody else knew you were one is a different story because this person right here just playing the instrument, okay, just playing music, okay, thinking about music. This person is wore out and tired. This person right here do look like they have either will slip something or haven't slept or you keeping this person up all night practicing because this person right here wanted to improve so much. So, either she was tired from practicing a lot, okay, and wasn't thinking clearly because there was a monster within the camp. Okay, and then she could have possibly had a monster within that she wanted to be perfect. She was aiming for perfection. She wanted to up her game. Okay, and this this monster within this uh, wolf here, okay, within her camp, okay, kind of used that to their advantage. Okay, so let's pull some cards, girl. Let's get some clarification since the case is open. See what this deck wants to say more about this monster within. Can you tell me from this deck about the monster within? We need to know. Okay, we got rebellion. Somebody was rebellion. Okay, a revolution. Somebody, somebody maybe re rebelling. It's giving me that somebody was fighting back or wanted to fight back or was against it. Okay, with the rebellion at the bottom of the deck. Okay, that could have been Aaliyah, but the card that fell out here is love conquers all. It says enduring loyalty. So this is somebody that she felt like that was within her camp that she was loyal to. And it speaks about eternal love. Somebody that she had some type of deep love for. You know, who you have deep love for. You have deep love for family. She wanted to be perfect. She wanted to improve for this, this particular person. Again, this wolf. Again, look how tired she looked in this card. Okay. She still got her little highlights there, girl. Okay. Okay, we got this wolf here. It says, love conquer all eternal loyalty, eternal love, and lasting commitment. A lasting commitment. Some type of commitment that was made here. Okay. Within. Because that she made with to this monster. This person that's within her camp. That she has this eternal love to. This um, lasting commitment. Okay. It could be a last minute commitment. But it's a commitment that she was uh, committed to. Even though she was tired and exhausted. Now why the wolf over here looking healthy. Uh, why she looking tired and exhausted. Okay, probably because he ain't up doing nothing. Okay, but plotting and planning. But I do see two wolves in the second card. Okay, again, it's giving me nighttime energy while she was sleeping, while she was resting, or needing rest. Next, we have the reason. What is the reason here? What is the reason? Y'all, okay, so the cards that I see here, what are the reasons here? We got seduction. So this is somebody that she probably loved that, you know, this was a seductive type of, this this wolf, okay? Again, I see two wolves here at the second card. First, it started off with one wolf, then we got two wolves. 
Now, we got a seduction here. It says allure. Somebody lured somebody somewhere. It's like, or allure. Like, there's something about you that's kind of causing me to gravitate to you. A desire and some type of manipulation at the same time. All in the same time, girl. So, somebody used seduction to kind of lure her somewhere to kind of lure her into this to into this comp this compromised position this lasting commitment this last minute commitment okay and it's like wolves within this monster within these wolves you couldn't trust them so but this is somebody that could be seductive and then we got blood on the walls here okay that's a clue That is definitely a clue. We got blood on the walls, blood on the bed. Again, it's giving me her being in the bed here at night. Something happening at night, in the bed at night. Okay, somebody, some, something about something in a drink. Okay, we got something in this cup. And she's looking very, su su very suspicious. So that would seem like there was somebody here that probably didn't get on the plane. Somebody was there that night. And didn't get on that plane. Okay. Somebody was left behind. Because. Something happened that night. And if they had knowledge to it. You know they didn't get on the plane. Okay. We got rebellion. Somebody was acting out. Maybe rebellion. Again this car is showing up again. So was Aaliyah against something? Was somebody trying to make her commit to something. Back in the States. And she didn't want to commit to it. And they were like. Okay. We got to make a last minute decision. Out of anger. Uh upstart uh, a term roar a revolution like somebody was standing their ground finally once and for all and probably was gonna say when I get back I'm gonna make sure that I say this or I do this okay to make sure that you know that I'm standing my ground okay then we have eternal youth we got energy a newness vitality Okay, now this is something about her youth. Is it something about her age at 22? Okay, at 22, we got this. Um, again, somebody playing music. Her youth was important, okay? It was something about her, her age. Her being new. Girl, is it new that she's taking center stage? And somebody, and she was getting probably a lot more promoted, more than what they expected her to be promoted. But it's something about the energy that they starting to take notice of her. They starting to see the wolves, the monsters within. Look at the skeleton kind of looking at her. As she playing. It's somebody in the background looking. As she's it's like as she's still looking at her playing the instrument, looking at her blow up, looking at her her talent, true talent. This girl could really sing. She could dance. She was beautiful. Girl, she didn't wear no wig. Now, she probably had some pieces. Now, she probably put a couple of pieces, but she had naturally long hair. Girl, that was a, that's a threat all in itself, girl. Her real eyebrows. Girl, that was too much. It was too much for competition. Okay? It was the realness of it all. She didn't have no type of body work done. It was natural. Girl, people be afraid of that. Next, we got hope. Anticipating. Bright prospect, wish. Uh oh. Who is that girl? That ain't Beyonce, is it? Girl, that ain't Beyonce. Girl, I just saw Beyonce as I looked at this card, and I gotta just say it. So somebody was a, a bright prospect. Somebody was anticipating something. Okay, they was looking for their time to shine, baby. They was waiting for for the bright lights because all they had was a candle. They was waiting for the bright lights. And then why is she sitting on the skeleton like she comfortable with it? Okay. Because we remember we got the skeleton back here looking and, and, and peeping seeing. So, but the skeleton is not, it's not like she really there peeping seeing. It's like she got some type of person that's looking. That's being her eyes. That's what I'm picking up, girl. Somebody being her eyes, shining the light, telling her. Okay. Because we got a new t bright prospect wishing to be in her place wishing now where was Beyonce around this time girl who else was blonde at this time who else could this be y'all okay that ain't Taylor Swift who is that somebody was had some type of anticipation girl but then they had in the dark girl why they, girl I see your wings girl them ain't angel wings girl we see your your wings girl 
Your wings are showing. Girl, let me find out that Beyonce. Because who is this? Is this Beyonce? Girl, I don't know what Beyonce coming is. Who is this? Because I thought this was Aaliyah. But this is like somebody with light color eyes, light color hair. Somebody was starting a revolution. Now, girls, but somebody was watching her, her talent. Okay, and that's the reason for it. Okay, it says, listen to advice, think clearly, intellect. Give me more about the reasoning. What's the reason behind the plane crash? Oh, girl. I knew it. Girl, listen. They be breathing these girls. They be breathing these girls. Because like you said, remember I said at the beginning that as soon as she was able to talk, they they straight start training her. Training her to be in this Hollywood scene. This has the past of prison. Somebody would have some type of bitterness. Now remember I'm asking about the reason. What's the reason behind this? The plane crash. It says bitterness, a grudge, refusing to let go. The past of prison. Now, girl, the past of prison. Now, somebody in their past were either in a prison. Girl, always, I picked up, you always practicing. Girl, you in a dungeon, just practicing, practicing, practicing. Like I said, if you're being breed to do this, girl, you don't need to go outside and play. You're not doing none of that. And we know Beyonce didn't go outside and play and do none of that. Okay, so somebody had a pass of prison and they was looking for the opportunity, they time to shine, girl, because they look, uh, princess, um, stuff back here was getting spider webs on it. Okay, spiders had started to crawl all over her. Okay, that's the reason. Somebody was very bitter. Okay, there was some bitterness, a grudge here, refusing to let go. Now, girl, listen, all of these cards are female cards. Okay, so this can very well be, uh, masculine energy as well because but I, girl the wolves showed up as masculine energy girl i feel like the wolves were some type of um the two wolves are masculine so there's definitely i see two masculine males i see a feminine here with blonde hair because we see Leah showing up here but everybody that's showing up with dark traits have the light color hair okay rebellion light color hair hope i mean let me know is this look him light color hair bright prospects okay but somebody had bitterness again look at the light color hair is that faith evans girl no who is that okay and it was refusing to let go they was like no i'm gonna be the next star i'm gonna be the next star okay fine fine so and then the past the prison could be somebody who have a past that's prison okay somebody could have girl just got released about to get released about to go in and you girl you have to make that sacrifice and then with girl the death rights okay now look at the little baby again giving me that honey these girls are bred to do this like they born to do this not like oh you was given this um opportunity no two people came together to have you and start training you at birth to be in hollywood it's like death rites, saying goodbye, a formal occasion, and honoring lives. Yeah, it was an honor, girl. Some, now, this giving me a mother energy, mother parent, parental energy. It's like she came, she probably came from a, a long line of people who worked in the business, who was in Hollywood. Again, her uncle, who was her manager, was um, Gladys Knight's ex-husband. So he was in there. Now, is he the ex-husband? Is he the husband of Gladys Knight that had her on the midnight train to Georgia? Okay. The one that had Gladys Knight saying that she couldn't even, that she was leaving on that midnight train to Georgia because she couldn't live in her Hollywood life without her Georgia man? Is, is, is that him? Girl, let me know. But it's, saying, it's also talking about a formal occasion. Some type of formal occasion where there was a death right. Okay, it's giving me some type of ritual energy, girl. Mother energy. Now, I don't know who Aaliyah mother is, but girl, this could very well be Tina Knowles. But I don't know how Beyonce got in this reading, but it's just, she's showing up. Okay, I'm just feeling her. But um, this card right here, it could be Aaliyah's mother, though. This is somebody with dark color hair. This could be Aaliyah's mother. But again, look at the wings. 
Okay, because this could be a Leo, the little baby. But look at the little baby. Again, the little baby looking sickly. It's like you're not caring for everything about the baby. You got the baby going to the voice lesson. But did you give the baby the proper amount of food? Did you make sure the baby had tummy time? Did you make sure the baby is walking properly? Did you make sure that the baby eyes are good? Because, girl, girl. Because it's giving me something about the eyes as well. Because the eyes of this baby is looking very sickly but human-like. Even though it's a skeleton. Okay, uh. Or, this, or a little monkey skeleton. I don't know what that is. Okay, like a little trained monkey. It's so sad. That parents would do this. Parents would do that. Okay. They call managers. Okay, and somebody was bitter, bitter about... Because remember when I said... Because she's natural. She's a natural talent. She's authentic, real, organic. Okay. So, they didn't really have to train her that much. But, we got death would come. Okay, so much bitterness, monsters within. We got people, wolves over here. We got people over here um, getting released from prison or having to go to prison, honey. And they have to come up with something to stay out, baby. I don't know if we have some snitching going on, what's going on. But it's a death right here. It's a right, a right of passage here. Okay, because somebody was real and authentic and natural. Okay, but then we got this death would come. Why is the death would come here? Okay, we got discipline, honey. Somebody wasn't willing to put in that discipline, put in that work, training, okay, consistency and practice. Somebody wasn't disciplined enough to keep all that practice in, honey. It, girl, we said, nah, this right here, Beyonce, we know she was disciplined. She was practicing. So I guess she said, girl, she didn't put that practice in. It's time, to, it's time to go. Okay, then we got compassion here. Okay, it's like empathy, sympathical, uh, kindness, okay. But girl, how kind is that? Why are you holding this person like this? So we got somebody that death would come and they show some compassion. There's some compassion for death coming here. Okay, even though they knew it was coming and they planned it. But they wanted some type of compassion and empathy for it. I didn't see Beyonce come out and say anything about Leah. Leah Beyonce probably wasn't even out then, was she? Okay, I'm going to have to research a little bit more. So let's give me more about this compassion part. Why is that here? With the death was calm. Okay. So it's giving me some type of ancestral energy. Okay. Family ties. Family history. Family curses. Ancestral. Egypt. Magical inheritance. Okay. A magical inheritance, baby. It could be a very well blood sacrifice, girl. An ancient ritual sac sacrifice. And girl, I know Tina knows what's there. Okay, this look, this look like an event that Tina knows what would, would definitely attend. Okay, front and center, photograph perfect, ready, dress ready from top to bottom, ready for the ritual. Always stay ready. She stay ready so she don't have to get ready. Okay, let's move on. So let's find out more about Aaliyah and this plane crash. What what does this this book has to say about Aaliyah and this cold case? What do we need to know? Okay, because we hear the listen. About August the 25th, 2001, concerning Aaliyah. Okay, this card says turning over, but they're just not popping out. So, a lot of hidden secrets, girl. But, these are a lot of good, um, well, I can say it's a lot of good cards that came out here. But, we do got the mouse here. We got somebody with some type of sneaky energy, chaos, mistakes. Somebody was worried, anxiety, a lot of problems here. Okay. Uh, it's giving me uh, mysterious. Um, because, you know, rats going to come in and take what they can take, leave chaos, poop, do everything out, leave diseases. Just a bunch of chaos they leave. Okay. It's like a, a, a line of drama. Okay. But then we got the sun, girl. They want it. But they still wanted good things to happen for them. I see that, you know, Aaliyah was a bright light. She was the sun. She was the star, for sure. I mean, she literally had it all. It speaks about, you know, success, opportunities, being warm, girl, being welcome, spirituality. And then we got the bouquet with joy, happiness, 
Um, it's, this could be speaks about love here. Okay. So it seems like whoever this mouse is, Aaliyah loved this person. Okay. And she thought they loved her. Because in the center of everything, you know, Leah was a loving person. She uh, always was happy. Well, I don't know if she was always was happy. But from the card saying that it was some sneaky energy, a lot of mistakes. She may have looked at it as, okay, maybe it was a mistake. But girl, I think the mice and the rats and the wolves that was in your life were leading you astray and you want to always think positive of these people okay i think that she would still speak highly of these people okay i don't even know if she knew that she had wolves and mice and people around her that was causing chaos and she was looking at it as maybe it was mistakes this is a mistake okay because these are people that she loved. These are people that are close to her. This is a, a magical inheritance. They magically got her inheritance, honey, when she left. Okay, because she didn't have no children. She was not married. Okay, and from what all that we can see, she loved these people. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say. We're going to see what the tarot has to say about Aaliyah. And the plane crashed that occurred on August the 25th. You know, what do we need to know about what led up to the plane crash? Okay, what led up to the plane crash, Aaliyah? The bottom of the deck we got old king of swords honey he, he tried not to make her appearance but baby you at the bottom seeing everything we got somebody that's a man over the age of 25 years old brown eyes brown hair cold abrasive and he demands respect period okay he overseeing everything so we're gonna let him sit right there girl he thought he wasn't gonna show up he thought he was gonna sneak on through breeze on through baby straight pimping so let's see we got the six of pentacles now we don't know what order they came out girl we're gonna let the calls cards fall where they lie so we got the six of pentacles it says uh, that's a raising money honey a salary we got somebody holding the justice wheel could be a libra we got somebody that's also handing out money giving and receiving okay this is giving and receiving equally hopefully for an equal ex exchange or for at least justice okay you got to pay somebody to keep quiet you got to pay somebody to balance that justice scale either way okay i give you something you give me something okay one of those type of things but then again it could be uh, Aaliyah giving okay giving in a situation people begging and giving and asking for handouts okay but at the same time she's giving to people that she care about because in, in her her mind she giving back in return this is her family she's taking care of them okay then we got this knight of wands with a young man to 25 years old with some type of important leather maybe some type of contract or documents he could be um text messages was not out back then so it had to be a straight out leather okay or a phone call but he came in with his wand okay not big D energy came in kind of protecting himself okay he was young you know he came in kind of slowly kind of creeping in but yeah he came in on the horse he's moving okay he came in with some type of information okay he came in information it's like he came in talking to the queen of pentacles this is a woman over the age of 25 years old with dark eyes dark hair she's professional she's business oriented she's very domineering she all about her money okay she could be okay a parent she could be um a dominant figure that's you know that that's good with money she also could be the person that's um holding your money girl she your beneficiary or she uh she the person that's have authority over your accounts next we got this eight of ones energy speedy news or speedy situation coming in now these are arrows of love now, girl, we know sometimes the arrows of love can hurt, girl. If they being shot at you, okay, coming in all fast, okay, coming in all fast can be overwhelming. But then again, it could be somebody that just really trying to communicate something to you uh, out of love, okay, really trying to get to, through to you, okay. And it's coming in very fast. 
Next, we got the hyphen. We got a marriage, some type of government or joining of assets. Okay, this could be a corporation, but you're coming together, you're partnering up with these this corporation or a marriage. A marriage is a business. Um, girl, this is a young man of 25 years old. Now we know, is this R. Kelly creeping into the reading, girl? Because we know she was 15 when he was 27. And it speaks, but this speaking about a young man of 25 years old coming in with his one. He could have lied about his age. He was like, I'm only 25. The whole 27. But we got the hyphen here. We got a marriage. But it's official. I mean, it's official. You went to an official building. You did this. This is an official situation. It's a body or a corporation. Somebody taking the oath, okay? Two people standing here before someone taking the oath, girl. Two willing participants. Or is it? Because we got this two of uh, swords energy. Now, are you a willing participant when you're a minor? You don't know no better. You don't know the rules. You thinking that people love you and they really using you, okay? Because this is somebody with the two of swords energy, which means she got the blindfolds on. She got the swords, girl. But it's like, who you going to really hit? You're going to only hurt yourself with those swords and you got blinders on. You need to take the blinders off so that you can reassess the situation at hand so it can bring you peace and harmony. Now, you probably got the blinders on because you're trying to have peace and harmony because what you see with, when you have the blinders off is too much. It's too much for you. And it could be a toxic situation concerning a mother with this uh, pentacle, with this queen of pentacles. But we got wishes coming true, though. Things coming, you know, coming together uh, with this nine of cups situation it's like improvements on the way you're feeling very smug and pleased you know at least the people around you are feeling smug and pleased because the cups are there uh but then we got this three of pentacles energy with improvements on the way but there's some type of delays okay there's something that's stopping the situation from moving forward it's almost like you almost can touch that check girl but wait a minute somebody didn't endorse it okay who needs to endorse the check baby so let's let, we gotta move to a plan B because we didn't get the signature on the check. We got some type of improvements on the way. Somebody is um, it's giving me like worship, like you in a church, girl. You you building something in a church, okay? You in a third party, and you guys are working together building something. But then sometimes it's like, well, why y'all always meeting up in the dark, girl? Why y'all? Why do you got your head covered up, honey? With the three of pentacles, good. It's like y'all got three pentacles and y'all working, trying to get more. Trying to get, because I don't see, I see this queen of pentacles. And she's sitting here looking uh, at the at the game plan. She's looking at her pentacles. Now this queen of pentacles, now it could be Aaliyah, a woman over, but it says a woman over 25 years old. With dark eyes and dark hair, okay. Um, but this person right here, um... It's kind of reassessing the situation. We got this Knight of Pentacles here. Um, I'm sorry, this Knight of Wands coming in. This immature energy coming in with a marriage. Okay, that's giving me R. Kelly all day. Then we got this, um, like she being overwhelmed with people that she loves, that she's giving out a lot. Okay, but then we got somebody up here that could be paying. Paying somebody that she loves. Okay, giving them. Could be paying them to like throw these errors. I see somebody. I see somebody getting paid to throw these errors. Okay, we got this person up here holding the ones. Okay, he holding these uh, ones in his hands. He's coming in. Uh, it's almost like gaslighting. Okay, trying to marry. Okay, trying to come in and join assets together. Okay, uh, trying to get in with with this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we've got this Queen of Pentacles here. But it's like you got to kind of go through her at first, you know, because I don't know if she's standing here trying to be, bring peace and harmony, but it's like she's not seeing. It's like she don't even see what's going on fully, whoever she is. Okay, she she don't. Okay, it's like she has some type of blinders on where she's not seeing these males around her, these masculine energies that's taking advantage of the situation. But... Nevertheless, they still working together, trying to get this nine of cups situation, trying to improve their situation. Okay, and they get feeling very smug and pleased about it. Okay, they didn't get the ultimate. Okay, they seem like they didn't get the ultimate coins. They just only got three pentacles at the end. But I guess, I guess it'll do. But they got this nine of cups situation. It's like they still may be waiting on something. So. 
they're still waiting on something to be fulfilled. So let's see what this deck has to say about Aaliyah situation and what we need to know. It's still telling us about a marriage girl, an official person, okay? And there was a change when it came to this official person, giving me courthouse, a change in location, maybe even moved in with somebody that she married. Okay. Was she wasn't married when she passed away. But then again, it's telling us that that person that she married, the person that was in her energy, um, had some type of effect on her life. Now we got this official person here, 22. We got the change nine. We got the marriage here, three. Again, third party energy. Somebody was here kind of trying to build and make this thing work when it comes to this marriage. Okay, I see um, people here making it official. Somebody paid somebody, yeah? So as far as when it came to, it seems like R. Kelly's story. Yeah, they did pay somebody officially to get married. They claimed that she was, they claimed that she was older and she was not, okay? That's why this Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, they paid. And it seemed like they even, they probably even asked her to pay. It's like, I wish they would ask that girl to pay for her own license. Okay, she may have even moved in, changed, okay, made something. But it was a permanent change, okay? This was a permanent change. Okay, so they made it official, and then they may have to go back and divorce and, and, and make it official, okay, permanently. But then it seemed like there was still some type of secret engagement going on here, okay? Secret things were still going on behind the scenes, girl, okay? Somebody was feeling still smug and please. They just took it, they just took it underground, girl, and they were still paying people. So, girl, yep, that's, that's the reason, girl. R. Kelly, six up, had to creep up in this reading because he's sneaky, very sneaky, and try to act like he was so innocent, okay, because I think he started acting very immature, you know, he, he tried to act like he was her age, okay, and that kind of just was gaslighting her, okay, just overwhelming her with love, you know, she he could have possibly been her first love, but she was so young, she didn't even know, girl. She was had blindfolders on, okay? Even though she was feisty. They say she was a little feisty here. But she didn't have people that was looking out for her best interest, okay? Because everybody was talking about, everybody was focused on her pentacles. Focus on her money. Okay? Honey, who knows? This family may have a long line of doing this. Marrying off the girls young, okay? For money. Because I'm seeing this is something like a family thing. It's like family, a long line of family. Okay. That's probably why the uncle was married to Gladys Knight. Uh, what, what year did Gladys marry uh, old Hank? Girl, I don't know. But whoever this um, this king of swords is, this man over 25 years old with the brown eyes and brown hair, honey. Cold, the man in respect, honey. He was overseeing the whole thing. Okay. It says a short journey. He probably been planning the, pl the trip. It says a movement near or overseas or near water, okay? Because there was some type of loss, girl. She probably broke up with him and told him, girl, I don't want you. I don't want your old self. I'm, no, I'm not getting with another old man. And he was pissed about it, honey. He was hurt, okay? But he like, okay, I'm going to get the laugh, the last laugh, baby, okay? Go on over there and film your, film your, little, um, your, your little video. Go film your little video thinking you the star, thinking you shining, girl. Thinking you balanced, honey. And girl, because I got some plans for you. Some sneaky energy, some sneaky plans for you, okay? I've been plotting the plan this whole time, girl. I knew you were going to say no, okay? I knew it, okay? All I got to do is pay somebody, girl. Give somebody a few dollars. One pentacles, baby. That's all it took, okay? Yes, honey. So that I can bring son, okay, into my marriage, okay? So I can bring into my children, honey. I pass this legacy over to my family, my children, okay? With the son, with marriage, happiness, brightness, prospects, honey. With this ace of swords. But, girl, I'm going to be frustrated in my marriage. I'm going to be frustrated. It's a double-edged sword because I really wanted you. 
I really wanted you, but you made it hard. You made it hard, but I'm going to have victory anyway, honey. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be one of, the, one of the first rappers to become a billionaire, okay? With the emperor energy, stability, um, stabilizing, influencing, coming into his life, baby. Okay, this looking like Jay-Z a little bit, girl. Okay, with good news and victory, honey. People supporting him, people loving him. Okay, going to have security. He's going to give somebody a helping hand here. Who are you going to give a helping hand to? Oh, somebody. It says a young man to 25 years old. A message to share. Oh, okay. Concerning uh, temperance, honey. Testing the waters. Okay. With peace and harmony with his two of cups in situation, honey. With Miss Beyonce. His soulmate and the soul ritual. Okay. That he's so connected to. Okay. I'm giving her the strength to shine, okay? I'm going to put behind everything behind her, okay? But there's going to be some confrontation with yourself and others concerning this, okay? Yeah, I ain't going to do her right neither, but but she she can take it, okay? We got the Ten of Swords, death of a situation or a relationship. With the Page of Wands, baby, I'm going to be out there swinging that wand. To all the women under age 25, I'm going to get my young woman under 25, whether you like it or not, okay? Until judgment day, until the last day, okay? Decision being final, okay? With the hey man, girl, I ain't got to make no decision, girl. I'm going to sit back and let Beyonce make all the money, okay? The queen of swords, a woman over 25 years old, brown eyes, brown hair, cold, demanding respect and authority, girl. Okay, she demands to be number one. Okay, it's time for her. Times have changed, baby, for Miss Beyonce. The wheels have changed, thanks to Mr. Jay Z. Okay, money, the elevation of money, all the overseas trip, honey, trips to Dubai, honey, paying thirty-four million dollars per concert, girl. It's gonna be a completion of a phase. Okay, karma with the Ten of Pentacles, baby. We back on top, okay? Ten of Pentacles with the money contentment, signing of money agreements, signing of contracts, okay? We got mama, daddy, we got the girl, we got the two loyal uh, pets here, and we got the grandparents, honey. Is that Matthew? Money improvement coming in, girl. We can go in forever, but then here we go. Somebody not satisfied, still not satisfied. Still not happy, still not pleased, still not wanting what you got. You still got options out there. Girl, we know who this is at this point. It's said all that glitter is not gold, baby. It's some sacrifice energy here. Okay, we got that devil energy. We got somebody overseeing it all. And then we got to make sure that everything happened the way it should happen, according to plan, baby. Okay, but I'm acting like I'm not there. I'm just in the shadows, paying attention to everything, okay, about to buy me a mansion. The world is watching. The world has changed for him, honey, after the sacrifice. Happy home, happy life, happy wife. Period. But then again, I, I still like to walk away from it sometimes, girl. We still having money problems. Okay? He said he got 99 problems, but a B ain't one. Okay. So, girl, we can go on forever, girl. Ten of Pentacles, honey. Swinging that one. Okay? And then Beyonce out there still working. Nine of Pentacles. Now, it could be Beyonce, girl. It could be whoever out there that he was dealing with. It could be Becky, girl. I don't know. Okay, let it, let the chips fall where they lie. But, girl, those are the cards. So, I hope you enjoyed this cold case review of Aaliyah. Stay tuned for more readings like this, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.